and they shitted on you or they didn't believe in you or they didn't take your advice and then they come back and it's like, well, I gave you this and I gave you something even better, which was the advice. So I don't have to ever give you this again and help you out. And um, people don't take it. Don't be one of those people. You know, you got to look at shit and, you know, being conscious, not even if you're conscious or not, it's common sense. A person can't take care of you forever. When you get older, you're going to be at a point where you have to retire. Body just can't do it no more. And if you get hurt, then what? You know, we're, we're, you can't go off of assumption. And that's what a lot of people do. They're going off of assumption. Well, I assume something is this way. Or I assume something is that way. And by assuming, you know, you, you, can, you can be completely wrong. And people assume that, well, things are going to work out for me. You know, I'm going to keep doing this and eventually something's going to work out or eventually something to come and I'll make money and I'll be rich. And it's like, well, what are you doing to get to this point? You're assuming, but at the same time, you're in a position where you have to survive. And that's what your life is conducive to right now. You want to work. You trying to pay bills and pay rent, have some money to have fun and then fuck the savings. So how are you going to get anywhere if that's what you're doing? And again, I put out personal economics for a reason. I put out the stock market, you know, for a reason. And again, like, well, I'm not, I don't want to get into people personal business who sent me emails, but it's, it has helped so many people, so many people. And I talked about in stock market three, how that's going to pay off. And then you'll see later on, I'm fucking Nostradamus when it comes to a lot of this stuff. You will see later on the stuff that I'm talking about, how it's relevant. And don't be that person. And it's just, you know, step back and just like we be moving so fast and working, trying to survive. We don't step back and just say, well, shit, you know, what do I got planned? You know, what if this happened? What do I have? How am I going to, you know, get out of this situation if it occurs? Because shit happens. And if you're not prepared for it, you're going to be stuck. And you can't just try to put that burden on another person to help you out. You can't assume they will help you out. A person who doesn't owe you anything doesn't owe you anything. You can't expect them to help you out. I mean, you shouldn't. So I don't care where you get your investment advice from or who you trust or who you listen to or follow. I don't care. If they help you, stick with it. Keep doing your thing. Do something. Set yourself up. This shit is going to be changing very soon. And people are going to be stuck and left on the outside. A lot of people, you know, focus on, on success and focus on getting yourself in better financial position, focus on your health and being, you know, building a strong immune system and everything like that. If you like spicy food, keep eating that shit. If you don't like spicy food, start eating it, build your immune system up so it can be tolerant against any fucking thing. Once, you know, I, I think I did a video when I was sick and it's probably was the last time I was sick. Um, you know, I'm so used to being when I was in Thailand and I was messing with so much spicy Thai food would have built up this high tolerance for, for spicy foods. I start eating a lot more spicy food. The shit works. And, you know, taking more herbs and being more on point about my health and everything like that, you know, losing weight. My, my weight goes up and down for many reasons. But, you know, working out, losing weight, working on so many different things and trying to be healthy because you just don't know. And then you see people popping up sick and it's like, I know these people are healthy. You know, I know this person don't, it's not normally sick. And it's like, now what's, what I, what I, what I talked about, what's out there is really going to be conducive to your body state as far as your health and your tolerance, how, how well you deal with certain things. That's why a lot of people is, is getting caught up in this because their body was never healthy to begin with. And they're not even building up their immune system, you know, since this stuff came out. So you got to work on it and don't be, you know, don't get older and then you get sick and then. You was really relying on your job. You didn't have no savings. And now, you know, you're a burden to somebody else. Now, my generation, all those people who went to church with us, those older folks we've seen in church, you know, believing in God and jumping around and all that stuff like that, they come into the realization and understanding. I get so many emails from older people who, who has woken up and they see, well, damn, I've been praising this God for you know, my entire life. I ain't never seen none of these damn blessings that people talk about even though the Bible basically telling you not going to get shit because you're not perfect. And because you've been taught the wrong way, you don't understand this. You can't, when people talk about blessings, how? How can you be blessed? And then somebody else not be blessed. And then the Bible says, God doesn't show favoritism. 
How can you expect something from God when the Bible says God does not speak to sinners and you're not perfect, so you're a sinner. You sin every day and you know it. So how are you, how are you getting any type of praise and blessings? I always tell us people, well, please share with us how you are so special that God is answering your prayers and nobody else's. That preachers can pray and open a church believing in the power of God and die from corona. You know, opening the churches believing that, hey, God going to protect us. And then congregations, congregation members get sick and then they get sick. So clearly, you know, elderly people seeing this and seeing their friends drop dead and die from this. And they understand, well, like, no damn God, what the hell is going on? And then now people are starting to come into the understanding of, you know, what we've been talking about for a long time. And um, they don't know what to do, you know, and it's a it's. You know, it's it's a sad thing. And, you know, I like to see people waking up. I don't care what, what age you are. When I get those emails from people that's older and they like, they don't know what to do. You know, it's like, dang, where, where do I go from here? I had so much faith and trust in this. And all it took was just really to read the Bible itself one, but a little bit of research and then common sense. But um, your religion destroys that. And it's tough to break out of it, to set yourself free from it, from something that you've been following for a long time. And then even still, some people who call themselves conscious are still on the fence about all this. Because then, like I said, same thing I did when I was trying to understand all this, when something went wrong, pray to God, oh shit, my bad. I'm tripping, God is punishing me. But when you know, you know, you come out of all that shit. You don't never go back. You stay conscious, you stay focused. And because of that, I'm where I am today. And you, you can be the same exact way because there's no way you shouldn't be there if you're truly conscious and you understand, you take heed of everything and you act accordingly. Fuck all the bullshit out here. It's nothing out here. People sick. It's people killing each other over stupid stuff. Go be successful. Go focus on your goals and what you need to do. Go do that. That's what's popping. That's what's up. That's what's fun. Because it's going to come a point in your life where you're going to need it. And you can't put that burden on your kids. You can't put that burden on your siblings or anybody else and expect them to just drop their entire life and world and help you out or to give you something that they worked so hard for themselves. And you wasn't even there to support them when they was trying to come up in the first place. I see a lot of you entrepreneurs and people who send me emails about online businesses and stuff. You know, you took the advice from... Um, from the uh, personal economic series. A lot of people took advice from that and opened up their little online stores. And some of the complaints people say is that, you know, my family don't support, friends don't support. And you gotta remember that we are sick. We are sick, we messed up in the head. They did a job on us. And people don't wanna see you succeed. And unfortunately, most of them people are your friends and family. They wanna see you make it. If you're selling something, if you have something for sale, if you're doing some type of entrepreneurial you know, shit, whatever it may be, and your family not right behind you 100% supporting you, fuck them. Fuck them. Just that simple. Move on. Don't rely on them because they be they should be the main people supporting you. They should be the main people coming by and, oh, let me get this. Let me wear this. Let me show this off because it's dope or because of, I want to support. If they're not doing that, you know who your haters are. You know who them people are who always look at your story. Always in your story, but they don't never like shit. They don't never see you no type of congratulations or any type of supportive words, but they always in your story looking. They be family, they be friends, they be people you know, and you like, what the fuck? These are the people we're talking about. It's the people I'm talking about. And you gotta understand why people do this and that it's, you know, it's a sickness. They did a job on us. They don't wanna see you succeed. All the more reason for you to push harder and drive harder and try to succeed because you know, not just for yourself, but to show these people, you know, that damn, you wasn't there for me and um, I still made it. And then uh, the, the better you do, and I tell people, don't get in arguments with these people. Don't get in arguments with your family on social media, all that stupid shit. Just kill them with success. That's how you do it. Keep posting your successes. Keep posting what you're doing. Speak it into existence, your accomplishments and accomplish them. Don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Go do it. Put everything into it. Don't bullshit yourself. You're going to do something, go 100%. Go hard. Plain and simple. It's the same thing in a relationship. You with somebody, they don't support you. You keep it moving. You know, everybody goes through stuff. But if you're with somebody, if they're family, if they're friends, they say support you. Especially if you're a black entrepreneur trying to do something, you should have support. 
And it's rare. It's a rare thing to see with our people these days. And, you know, people will really, you know, they will be really jealous of you. They will resent what you have because they don't have it. And even when you try to help people, it's not always a good thing because they'll resent that. They'll think everything that you're doing, you're only doing it because you got money. When you start to give advice, when you're successful and you're smart, you start to give advice. People will hate that. They will say, well, you're only saying it because you got money or you think you know everything. You think you're too smart. But it's something I've heard, you know, ever since I've been Merkaba. And ever since, even before that, me just trying to help people, or you just saying that because you got money. And it's like, yeah, motherfucker, you should be listening because you don't have it. And I'm trying to help you get it. But, you know, you hating or you stunting or showing off. You know, everybody got their own shit. You know, it's this mental disease that's out here. And the only thing you can do is let people go through life and experience what you've been trying to tell them. And then, you know, see if they come back or see if they can rise above it. I don't wish, you know, bad on nobody. Everybody who's coming to my life, I wish them well. Everybody who's left my life, I wish them well. Hopefully, you know, people get where they're supposed to be at. And um, one thing I can say is I know I tried to help people and um, put them on the right path. And not everybody's going to appreciate that. And really the only thing you can do is smile, you know, walk away and just know, you know, you did what you can do. You did what you can do. Life goes on. Live life. Be happy. It's crazy to look out there. You know, so many people. So much to do. So many ways to get money. It's crazy to see people of my generation. I'll be 40 next month, January 28th. And how how did you get there? Like, what the hell have you done with all this time? Like, you really thought it was a game. And there's people still thinking it's a game. It's a joke. And they they don't have shit. You shouldn't be at this this age point by now. Everything we've seen. How many lessons do you need to see? Black on black crime. The racism. Where, where do you think this shit is going to come from? And see... It's religion. And that's that's what I've come to see and why I do what I do. People really sitting around believing that, well, I just got to live my life and survive until I die. God's going to take me to heaven. I'm going to be all right because I'm a good person. I got a good heart. I ain't follow the Bible or really live by it, but I got a good heart. So God is a good person. He's going to see me through it. But if, if God let people in the church get shot up and killed in the church and then they kill her, get Burger King on the way to jail, what does that tell you? Like, Children starving to death and preachers dying of corona. And you think you're going to help your lion send an ass out? If you, like, what's wrong with people? You, you, you think that <laughs> you're going to get help from this guy who allows kids to suffer and die cancer. Family praying around him in a bed, but this kid dies of cancer. And your lion sinning fucking cheating ass, you think, going to get blessed. Oh, God, going to bless me. I'm blessed. Highly favored. It's crazy. It's madness. But um, people believe this. But uh, you have to really get out of all this stuff and, and set yourself free from the mindset that shit will happen or maybe things will work out and go and do for yourself and make something for yourself. Nobody going to give it to you. Not going to hit the lottery. It's highly unlikely. But um, you got to make sure you, you put yourself in a good position for the future and that, you know, you can have something to sustain yourself for the rest of your life because you're going to get old. You're going to die. You're going to get to a point where you have to retire. pre fucking pair for it. Just that simple. You're getting older. Shit ain't working the same, is it? Especially if you ain't keeping up with yourself and staying in shape. Take heed. You know, understand and, and get yourself right. But, um, yeah, quick video I wanted to put out. Thank you guys for supporting as i said everybody who's been support from day one and continue to support i appreciate all your support um uh, a couple people did we're gonna get into this in work of academy a couple people did ask me about the book drive i've been talked about this when i first started out i have been doing you know books for years over a decade so i give out conscious books to prisons and uh, halfway houses right so that's where the money i make from work of academy all, all the stuff you guys buy it goes to books this, I do a lot. So I'm not going to be on freaking camera doing shit. That's not me. I, if I see a camera, don't do that shit. I don't like that because this is tainted. I'm not going to show what I do. I do what I do. And the people who know, know. I don't care what anybody else thinks as far as if you want to give me some type of props or glorification for me helping people. What the fuck is wrong with people? You help somebody, help them. Don't put no camera in their face. Stupid. But yeah, I do a lot. It is what it is. And that's where a lot of this money go to that. And, uh, 
you know, me, conscious books is important, especially my book one, which is why it's this, this whole another story with that. But there's a lot of books that, you know, I've given away. And once the book was perfected and it's to really help people out uh, who needs this information, who in places they really need it, you know, more than us, to be honest. But um, that's where that's where um, uh, I put a lot of my attention to and some of the stuff I do. But you guys support it and I appreciate it. So thank you guys again for taking the time to watch and support. And I'll see you guys next video.